First of all, let's go ahead and start with this. Black men are loved worldwide. They love us everywhere. Bullshit. Let's start there. Number two. Yes, there are women of every nationality that love black men. Those women of those nationalities are niche women of those nationalities. What do I mean by that? The general fucking Romanian, the general English, the general Thai, the general Filipina is not going to bed at night dreaming about one of us, generally speaking. And I'm not saying that they're they're dreaming about a particular person or a particular group of people. But what I'm saying is this dream of that black men are just loved everywhere by everybody is bullshit. Now, that does not mean that you cannot get love from these particular women. For example, Latinas, obviously... (laughs) There's a good number of them that are attracted to black men. That's the reason why there's so many mixed people. Maybe that's the reason why. We can get that in another video. But there's a lot of mixed people in Latin America that have African genes mixed in them. And I know you guys don't think that somebody has African descent unless this motherfucker is as dark as an asteroid or has this shirt right here. And their hair is as nappy as a damn BB. That's I, for some reason my followers think that's the only version. I mean, I wanted to, you motherfuckers think I'm black at this point because y'all don't think shit else is black. So anyway, do you do you guys ever notice how you don't see the best non-black women with black American men abroad on average? I know some of you guys have very attractive Latinas, Asians, and European women, correct? It's a generalization, but I'm saying in general, do you see us going to get the most attractive women? And it's not because of our standards. Most of you guys that are getting the most attractive women are paying for pussy anyway. So we're not talking about y'all. I'm talking about dudes that can walk into a room and... The 10 of that society that has the best men of that society going after her, are they looking at you? And if they are, I would love to see. A lot of you motherfuckers disagree with me and y'all don't show me anything. Again, if you're paying for pussy, we're not talking about you. I'm talking about dudes that are dealing with regular chicks that don't charge by the hour. They charge by the lifetime. That's what I'm talking about. And you know what I'm talking about. So don't come in my comments with that bullshit. Okay. Ever notice how you don't see that? Usually you'll see the baddest Thai chicks with a Thai or a Korean or a white guy. You usually don't see the best with one of us. If you do see a Vietnamese woman with one of us, if you do see a Japanese or a European. Don't think that every chick in Japan has that same mindset that she does. Don't think that every Romanian chick has the same mindset as she does. They know that they're stepping outside of their comfort zone. They know that they're a niche. I'll give you an example. I had a chick here in Manaus last night that came over and knocked my socks off, right? And she saw the video because I was uploading a video where I was telling you guys, or I was looking at the video where I was telling you guys that white guys get the best women in, in Latin America or really Latin America and Asia, right? And she's like, well, I don't like white men. I said, yeah, you don't. But let me ask you, generally speaking, do would you say that the average Latina wants a white guy? She says, yes. Meaning that She's not the average motherfucker. I don't know why y'all don't understand that. She is a niche. She's a niche woman. Not the general one. Now, I know some of you fools are watching this thinking, Austin's not having any success. I don't know how many times I have to clarify this shit. Oh, and I know y'all are gossiping about me like bitches, too. I know that. I heard, and I didn't even have to hear it. I just assumed that it's right. Y'all are predictable. 
But <laughs> listen, man, the average Latino wants a white guy. Let's just stick with that. Austin has been having success in pretty much every has there been a city in Latin America that I've been to in the last nine months where I couldn't get any dates or any sex? I don't think so. I think that happened in every city that I went to. So I'm not just pulling shit out of my ass. Okay. But you would have to be a fool to not notice the difference in how women treat white men and how they treat black men in Latin America, in Asia. I've told you a number of times I've went out to eat with white guys. Somehow every fucking time I go out to eat with two, three white guys, they only forget my food. Now, if it's one on one, me and Casey by ourselves, that that's they can't do that too much. That would be too obvious. But they play it off every time when we get in a group. Like, oh, I just forgot the black guy's food every fucking time. Every time they're looking at the white guy's smile, come to me straight face. White guy's come to me straight face. You can't help but notice that shit. I mean, unless you're just an unaware person. I'm very aware of my surroundings. Maybe I take too much pre-workout. I'm very aware of my surroundings. I notice it. I don't give a damn if you notice it or not. I'm telling you what I see. And if you know every, if some of y'all know everything, if you know everything, turn this video off. Don't watch it. You can't, you don't need to learn nothing else. You know every goddamn thing. Why are you watching the video? No need to watch it. What would you learn by watching the video? For people that want to learn that they haven't traveled and they want to know what to expect, continue to watch the video. Okay. Now. I noticed this difference because in the United States, I've heard men say that, oh, like the, the black women love Zaddy, wherever the fuck Zaddy is. I know what they're saying, but I don't know where the hell that came from. They love Zaddy. They love the white man. And whenever I was in Dallas, whenever I was in Austin, it didn't really, the dating wise, never really felt like a negative because I was black. Now, I'm not saying Latin America just feels like a complete shithole because I'm black, but at times, listen to what I said, at times, I can notice that it is an, an, an irrefutable disadvantage. An irrefutable disadvantage. I put up a community post yesterday about how these motherfuckers treated me like I was a butler. Ooh, that shit was annoying. Oh my God, it's so annoying. There is another white guy I've been hanging out with, right? We went to a club, some chicks outside the club. They were waiting on him. He, this was his first time meeting them. Listen to the story, idiots, because I know y'all are going to have selective hearing. They were waiting on him, but they did not know him. There's a mutual friend that introduced them because he said, hey, can you bring some girls to the party? So they know who this guy is. They don't know who I am, right? So I walk up. The white guy is inside. I call him like, hey, I'm outside. Can you come get me? And at the same time, he's going to get the girls too. So he walks up. He's like, oh, yeah, Austin. Uh, oh, these are some of the girls that's coming today. So he introduces himself because remember, they don't know him. Remember, they don't know him. He introduces himself. You know, they do the little Latin America kiss behind the ear shit. I don't ever do that shit, but they do the kiss behind the ear thing. A very good smile. A very good smile. Right? Top and bottom row showing on this smile that both of these chicks gave my good friend. And then, rightfully so, he says, oh yeah, this is my other friend, Austin. Now, I just saw these motherfuckers reach out to shake his hand. They reached out to shake his hand. They did it. He did it as well, but they re I saw them reach out. Like that was just like it was just like anywhere else in the world. When you meet somebody, oh it's nice to meet you, you know. Nothing special, just a typical interaction. Oh, this is my friend Austin. You this I swear to God, this is how they looked at me. Now, I know some smart ass is gonna be in the comments like Austin, you're not gonna be everybody's type. Since when the hell did you need to be somebody's type to be introduced to them? 
Nobody said that I wanted to sleep with these girls. I'm being introduced. They don't have to have sexual interest in me to say, hello, how are you? So I'm looking at them like, here we go with this shit again. <laughs> so I stuck my hand on, yeah, I'm Austin. He just said that, but I stuck my hand on, yeah, I'm Austin. Do you know it was maybe a two or three second delay with my hand like this before the chick raised her hand to shake mine? How the fuck can you not notice that? This is not the first time some shit like this has happened. That's why I've come to these conclusions because this shit keeps happening. And they never said I was a butler, right? But I'm just, I'm falling under the impression that like, like, do these people think like, you know, like, I work for this guy or like I'm the the housekeeper or some shit. Why are they doing this?